annuity mortgages a mortgage of 190000 is required to purchase a house the mortgage will be repaid with equal monthly payments over 25 years at 8% compounded monthly what is the monthly payment what is the total interest paid over the 25 years well this is i think one of the best examples to understand annuity and mortgages and this is from a book and i just love this example and i want to share with all of you and the strategies which we are going to follow in this example it has part c and d also which will be in the next part of the video okay uh, will be used and can be used to solve most of the problems on this topic of annuity okay so i'd like you to understand the method by which we are going i'm not really interested in calculating the values and uh, impressing you with big numbers that's never my interest but i want you to make you to understand how to solve such problems okay that is the strategy behind all this so i'll leave most of the calculations with you i do have a calculator here but still i may use it sometimes <laughs> Uh, but the idea here is to only give you the uh, answers okay and the steps involved okay now let's read the problem once again it is always important to read your problem at least twice a mortgage of 190000 is required to purchase a house the mortgage will be repaid with equal monthly payments over 25 years at 8% compounded monthly so what is the monthly payment so that means the value of r in our formulas right the recurring amount the fixed amount the annuity which you pay regularly that is what we are asking for here and the part b is what is the total interest paid over the 25 years so well you know actually it was 190000 and once you know how much is the total paid then the difference will give you the interest that is what you paid over a period of 12 years correct now so we can use the present value formula here why present value because we know mortgage of 190000 is required to be purchased in a house right so this is the present value correct so the formula to be used is the present value formula which has r in it so this is, i'm trying to explain you this because I found that students struggle to figure out whether it is a present value formula or a future value formula, right? And I don't blame them for that. It is kind of tricky, right? And we have made things more, even more worse with them by always using a formula rather than deriving the formula as required, right? And introducing the terms present value, future value, principal amount and amount they are so complicated at times but well here are simple rules once you see present value is given here mortgage of this much is required to purchase a house so what you need today is 190,000 right so so it is the present value which is given to you so let's write down our present value formula so the present value formula is PV equals to and I suggest that you always write down uh, all the formulas on one sheet of paper all related formulas correct so that you know exactly what to use where so the question then is to make choices which one to use so here as i said monthly payments that means recurring payments capital r <laughs> and present value 190 so those are the two critical things which help us decide which formula to use right so here is the formula which i am also copying from a sheet right don't think I'm so brilliant that I remember all these things no I don't I'm just like you and the formula says like this right over I now here PV is the present value and R is the monthly regular payments right sometimes I use the word recurring but R B is regular payments which you pay at the end of the month right and uh, I is the interest now here and n is the compounding periods correct so these are the terms which you should understand right so now let's see what is n first so n is the compounding periods the mortgage will be repaid with equal monthly payments over 25 years 
So the capital N I want to use as 25 years at 8% compounded monthly. So every year 12 times you have to make this payment, right? So an interest is charged. We are assuming it to be a simple annuity, the ordinary one. So, so interest is being charged monthly, right? And the payments are being made monthly at the end of the month. That's kind of important, right? Now, so we say that in five years, how many payments will you make? So that is the value of N. N is the number of periods or number of times you are making the payment, right? So we'll write N is equals to 25 times 12 because it is for a period of 25 years compounded monthly, right? So that gives me the value of N. And if you multiply 25 times 12, you get the number of payments, correct? <clears throat> now, uh, I is the interest, correct? So how do you get interest? Now, interest is 8% compounded monthly. Is that okay? Now, that means I should be divided by 12. Interest rate is 8%. 8% means 8 over 100. Do you understand? So that is how we should not, sometimes students will write just 8, right? And they will forget to divide by 100. So 8% means 0 0.08, which is 0 0.08 because 8 over 100. So I'm not writing 8 over 100, but I'm writing 0 0.08 for 8%, right? Divided by 12, because this 8% will be charged in one year, but it's compounded monthly. So every month it'd be 1 12th of this. So that is your interest, correct? If you want, you can calculate these values using your calculator and write down your answers, right? But I'll leave them like this for the time being. I'm really not doing the calculations, right? <clears throat> now that's what it is. Now in the formula you see, you know all the terms. You know PV, the present value. R is what you need to find. And I is what this is. And N is this value, correct? So, so that's what it is. Now, you have to plug in these values and find R, correct? Now, if I do so, I get PV is 190,000. So, as I said, I'm just plugging in the values, leaving things for you. 190,000 is equal to R, we don't know, times 1 minus 1 minus, and I is 0 0.08 over 12 to the power of minus, so okay, I know this is 300 because 12 times 4 is 100, I mean 4 times 25 is 100 and this is 300. So let me write 300, it becomes too complicated at times. So this is simpler, so following a simple step. Okay, so I wrote 300 for that. Now I is 0 0.08 over 12, I definitely need a calculator, I could simplify this also but let's forget about it now. Okay, so we get all these values plugged in here and from here we can calculate the value of R, correct? So what will be R? R will be, you have to multiply this with this first, is that okay? So let me show you that part because I have seen students making a mistake at this step also. Now R is equal to, so you got 190,000 here, you do 190,000, right? And then you have to multiply by this number. So I'm putting it in bracket, right? 0 0.08 over 12. It is good to put it in bracket because, you know, once you use your calculator, you can do these operations in a straight line and get exact answer. If you do them separately, then sometimes there may be decimals which you will be rounding. And if the powers are like 300, you can imagine what mistakes you can make, right? And we don't want to pay more for all this, correct? So, so my advice is uh, write it in this form. And then, so we got rid of this. It got multiplied by 190,000. And to find R, we have to divide by this whole thing here under this value, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm using the symbol divide. It's not a good way to write, but <clears throat> it's not a bad way because we are going to use calculator to calculate this out. And I'll put all this divide by by all this because when it comes here it is to be divided by all this is it okay so now i'll put one big bracket here and one 
minus and this is like 1 minus 0 0.08 over 12 to the power of minus 300 right okay so that's what it is so if you plug in all these values in your calculator and press equal to you should get some answer like this now let me write here the answer is 1466.45 something and it's rounded to 45 is it okay so that is the dollar amount which is being paid regularly every month and for 25 years to make a mortgage payment right so to when you bought so that is what the answer is so so what is the monthly payment that is the total monthly payment which you make okay now monthly payment is made this much how will you find so we have done part a what is the monthly payment which is 1466.45 dollars right we'll use Canadian dollars for the time being as nothing else is mentioned here right so that's good and I forgot to write dollars here let me write dollars here and these are all Canadian dollars okay so that's what we pay now part B is what is the total interest paid over 25 years so think like this in 25 years how many payments did you make so let me now write 300 we use the value 300 so 300 is the total number of payments we made of what amount 1466.45 so actually we paid 300 times 1466.45 correct instead of 190,000 so the difference between them actually goes towards the interest right so we say well this is our part A and the part B is interest right so let's figure out what the interest is so let me write down interest is equals to so let me push this page a bit forward I know we are going right on the margin now so interest will be total amount paid is 1466.45 times 300 because it's the number of installments right this is monthly installments of three, 300 installments of 1466.45 so we'll say 1466.45 times 300 is the actual payment we made over a period of 25 years for the mortgage of 190,000 so instead of paying present value of 190,000 you understand now we paid that much and that difference gives you the interest correct and you'll be shocked when you see this figure okay so the answer is before me and it says the interest is 249 it's not 249 it's 249,935 so that is the interest paid and that's the answer for part B so remember one thing in mortgages you normally pay much much higher than what you really have to pay currently of course when you don't have money you have to borrow and pay for it correct now so the part C which I'm leaving for you is find out what percent of total amount paid is interest so you paid you know 146.45 times 300 that much amount and this amount is what percent of 190,000 right so figure that out it's a huge huge amount correct so you can see from here that the house costing let's say 200,000 uh, is making you pay 250,000 extra on it so it is almost 450,000 you understand roughly speaking so 200 plus 250 right so double the amount more than that is being paid as an interest over 25 years correct now in the next video I will talk about that normally in the market when you go for a mortgage they may tell you to renew it after five years right and they may not give you the same rate which you get now so we'll look into the scenario what happens if we first take a mortgage for five years and then uh, our mortgage is renewed for the rest of the time okay and how does it impact our payments correct so that will be my next video on this so have a good look at it try to understand do your calculations and hopefully 
The way I've laid it out helps you to understand and calculate with your beautiful calculator. Thank you.